Hi, it's the DIY blog guy and in today's video I'll show you how to create a WordPress sitemap. Let's get started. First of all we log into our WordPress dashboard and you'll want to have a plugin called Yoast. Yoast CEO. I've mentioned this in previous videos but this is the one that you should have as a default for your WordPress installation. Okay, so once you've got that installed, you'll have a new menu opening up um, called SEO, and in there there'll be a option called XML sitemaps. If you just click on that, the box is already checked for this, so all you really need to do is hit the save changes to create your sitemap. I'll just do that now. Takes a little bit of time for it to generate the sitemap, so let's have a quick look at some of these other tabs first. Um, in there, you want the user sitemap, that's fine, that's disabled. Post types, um, please check the appropriate box if, if there's a post type that you do not want to include. Bit of negative uh, language there, but you pretty much want a sitemap for your posts and pages, excluded pages or posts. And here's another one that you might want to uh, check a few boxes. I don't really use tags, so I'm going to untick that and the formats I don't use. But I do use categories, so I'll get them to create a sitemap for that. So let's just save that changes again, because I've made a couple of changes. Okay, we'll just go back to the main one. And we just have to click on the XML sitemap button. And there it is. That's our sitemap. That was that easy. So in there you'll see uh, there's links to your sitemaps. We've got three sitemaps and these are just the posts that have already been published. As you'll see here there's three columns. The priority, how important this is for the web search index, how many images you've got in a post. Now typically you would want to have at least one, maybe a couple of images. So this is a great little place to discover that you've not got images on a few of your posts. The change frequency is how often this page changes. Um, the main page typically changes a lot and the rest of the pages might change weekly. And last modified date is when you last changed the date. So that's it for your sitemap. Um, now you want to go and submit that to Google and I'll cover that in another video. Today was just a very quick one. Thank you for your time today and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.